Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2019 Honda Odyssey EXL. Now the most notable features on this EXL is its DVD player. You have your heated front seats along with your lane departure alert. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2019 Honda Odyssey EXL. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this EXL is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look down below, you'll see your block heater. And if we take a look just over on the side, you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You have the integrated signal lamps as well as the foldable mirrors and heated mirrors. And I'm just gonna quickly show you just what your second row is gonna look like. So as you can see, you have three additional seats in the second row. And then the other nice thing is in your third as well, well, actually I should say in your second row windows there, you're gonna see the window visor shades, which is nice because you can block out some of that sun just while you're going on one of those long trips. Up at the top, you do have the DVD player just so you can entertain the kids just on those long drives. And then on the side here, you'll find the close button for the power sliding rear door. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will close for you automatically. Now, the color we're gonna be taking a look at today is gray, and to start off with, we're gonna be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your gray leather into your seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see your close buttons for your power sliding rear doors, power lift gate release, you also have your parking sensors, well, rear parking sensors on and off, traction control on and off, lane departure alert. And then on the inside of your driver's side door, uh, door sorry, you'll see your seat memory controls for your driver one and two, mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, back, Bluetooth, voice recognition, your home button, heated steering wheel, cruise control setting and finally if you take a look you do have that push button start so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake hit the push button and it will start up for you automatically now taking a look at your multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different features on here so as you can see you have your speedometer as well as a couple of other additional features so if we actually scroll through this just to show you as you can see, you have your warning, show, hide, apps, trip, computer, phone, you're now playing as well as a couple of other additional features inside here as well. You have an exterior temperature gauge on there as well and taking a closer look now at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features which include your AM, FM and a couple of the other additional features you'll see here when you hit the home screen here, it'll take you to the screen here which shows your phone, settings, FM, Bluetooth, Android Auto, as well as Apple CarPlay, and a couple of other additional features inside here. Temperature control settings are just located down below for your dual zone climate control. Rear temperature controls will be located just over on the side here. Now, taking a look underneath that, as you can see, you do have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings, depending on how hot you would like it. You have your hazard lights, and then as you can see right here, this is your automatic transmission, so all you need to do to actually engage it is when your vehicle's turned on, all you have to do is just put your foot on the brake, just like you would normally do to change gears, and then just hit the drive button, and then vice versa, just pull down on the reverse button. And as you can see, it'll just show you on here when you actually press it. Now, taking a look down below, you're gonna see your power outlets just underneath here. And if we take a look, just at the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opener and a couple of the controls you'll find up top here include your open and close for your power moonroof along with your sunglass case holder. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall but you can also change up the view for your backup camera as well. Now the other nice thing is you do have the lane watch feature just on the inside here so if you press that button it'll actually show you that side of the vehicle so that'll be your right hand side and if you push it once more it'll go back to your home screen 
Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. On the back of your tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Honda emblem. Now, closing in on your rear cargo space, as you can see, you do have some uh, floor space just down below just with your third row up, but if you need the additional cargo space, you can actually have these seats folded down into the floor for yourself. So all you would need to do is just pull on the strap that you see on the back here. And then if you forget how to actually fold the seats down, the instructions are located just on the back there. Just to give you a better idea of what that DVD player is going to look like in the back there, as you can see, it's going to entertain your kids just when you're going on one of those long trips. And then when you're all finished up, all you have to do is just push on the button on the back of the tailgate once and it will close for you automatically making things much easier for you, especially when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids' sports bags. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2019 Honda Odyssey EXL, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.